we are back with chapter three of Tell Me Why, the last chapter. And I'm excited, but also kind of sad because I really enjoy this series, but it's the last chapter, so it's going to be over soon. But I'm excited to get into it, so let's just play the game. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. forward and find a new place for herself in this world where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood You killed me! Whoa. <laughs> Scary dream. Not something Tyler would say. But.
Daddy. Aww. Oh, you're going to make me read it? Okay. <clears throat> Morning. I started collecting the documents you need for your rental application. Left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet Dee for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. P.S. My famous Buck Up Buckwheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. Alright. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Yeah. Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt unfair. Mm. I'm not going to read that, but it's, it's just notes to Tyler. As she didn't send. I wish I could just book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. Yeah. How did we go from being so alike to total opposites? I gotta think about opposites. something else. I'm just not the same. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12. Yeah, smoking's bad. Ugh. I could do my laundry. Ugh. Maybe later. Yeah, kind of the worst. There's not enough concealer in the world to erase the night I had. Mm. Good to know I look just as bad as I feel. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> we looked at everything we didn't look at the first time. I can't open the door. We get to see the rest of the place. Ow. Nice view. I miss the slopes. Eddie looks so young here. I miss the slopes. The days have gotten so short. It's gonna be a long winter. Lots of title schedule. Ooh, Grimm's Fairy Tales. That's good. What the? Oh, a memory? I should probably eat something. God, I feel so weak. He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so much for the community. It's a thank you letter for bringing my children home. So many months of snow boots ahead. Hmm. I always loved this one. Waffles. Eddie looked pretty concerned when I came home last night. I should have talked to him about what happened. I need to get all that paperwork together. Maybe that'll help me focus and clear my head. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. Maybe if I make something for Dee, it'll help calm me down. 
Maybe. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. It's just ingredients. I mean, a recipe. It's nice. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. Emily, Allison, how could you do this to me? What? Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. I can't really eat anything right now. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. God, the world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Eddie loved his Mishka so much. I haven't had any time to sketch lately. Well, I've been kind of busy with like more important things. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. Okay. Your ID and stuff on the table. Wait, where was it? Over there on that table. What if I just packed a bag and left and never looked back? You could. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. Ah, here's my ID. Can you just bring your wallet with you? <sighs> this place doesn't have much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. Oh. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? You're not my child. My clan deserves better. Oh, her. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Oh, uh, so your. Her memories are kind of like turning on her. Uh, Allison. Please. It's a day to day. Come on, Allison. Don't start. <sighs> you swore, Allison. It's nothing. This is nothing. Nothing now. There's more. Hmm. What was the other thing? Oh, you opened it. Just the tenant info. I got pretty lucky with this job. Dessa and Tom really took a chance on me. Yeah. Okay, I guess we get out of here now. I think we checked everything. We didn't go in that back room, actually. We just opened it. I'm glad he never pushed me to change my last name. Still can't believe Eddie never told me he was paying for fireweed. It, I guess it, it does make sense, though.
Eddie must have been back and forth to Juno all the time to these shows before he got stuck here taking care of me. Allison. <laughs> This is personal. Oh, uh, Eddie's dad isn't doing well. Marianne, what's going on with you? If you need help... Okay, focus. I'm still missing some things. I haven't heard him play in a while. It just sits there collecting dust. A secret keeper in her secret keep. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Secret keeper. Maybe there's something in the Book of Gob. Looks like this is coin operated. Okay, so we need a coin, right? There's nothing. Hmm. I don't think I know any Claire's in Delos Crossing, but I shouldn't be snooping in here. Hmm. Right. Sure. Point blank. And yet you took it. Hmm. Why would you move it up there? <laughs> Looks like it's coin operated. Coins. I didn't think we saw coins anywhere in here. Stop sulking! Come on, Allison. Don't start. Okay. All right, let's go figure out about that then. Almost left. I, I didn't think I saw any coins. All my recent pay stubs should be in that folder in my room. Folder in your room, got it. First, a secret keeper in her secret keep. Oh, no Thanks. way. It worked. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I thought it would have something to do with the story, but. Yeah, I still like getting the figurines. They're cool. Okay, back to your room. I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox for 12. I honestly can't remember what we searched earlier really and it's not been very long. Not here. Oh, I can do stuff now.
Mm. That's it, isn't it? <clears throat> That's it. Here they are. Still gonna have a look around. Per okay. Usual. I think I've got everything I need for the application. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? It's the living room, right? Oh. The basement? Why would you put it in there? Not deal with you right now. Oh, my phone. I need to find it. phone here. You can see it's under there. So we'll look at all this first. Not here. No, no phone here. What's it doing book? here? <laughs> Wait. You say it's been so long since you sketched and it's just underneath the sketchbook. Hey, Dee. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. <sighs> I've got enough time to carve something for Dee. Do it. Nice. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. 
Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. Totally different life. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. We deserve that. Yeah. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. You sketched his birthday gift, that makes sense. I miss you, pup. Oh. Is it poor? Ah, uh, it's just the fishing license. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. Door. 